Here we go, fiberglass. Now, instead of doing this first, I'm going to do the speak, uh, the um, tweeters first. So, uh, these are going to be my, all my practice bits, I guess you call them. Um, so, that goes in the door, like that, I guess. So, I want to have the tweeter sitting here, facing. Uh, as you can see, they're extremely shallow. So, I couldn't just cut a hole out if I wanted to anyway. Okay, well, that's them wrapped in masking tape twice. So, it just went both ways. Okay, so they're in tinfoil. Don't hate if I've done it wrong, but as far as I know, I'm just going to lay the mat over this. Now, the other thing is, so this thing goes right up close. Um, these two sides go right up close against some, like, seals in the car, whatever, rubber. So, the fiberglass can't overhang anyway. So, this is 200 mils of um, resin and, like, three and a half to four mils. So, like, you know, one and a half, two percent of hardener. Okay, well it was blue, now it's went brown. So there's that one. Okay, you get the idea. And it's folded over there. Okay, which is the side I want, otherwise it's done. It'll stick to me, and then I'm gonna do the other one. We're just gonna let them set, I guess. They're all, you know, overhanging, so I can cut it all to size. So I ended up doing two layers, just because, you know, I wanted to use a bit of that up. So I've still got about a third left, but... Um, so now we're gonna let it set. With two layers. Yeah, yeah, so I just went out, come home, they're ready. They're pretty good. They're, well, they're dry at least. Um, I missed a spot there somehow. I mean, it's got one layer, but it doesn't matter because I've got to cut these down anyway. They're too big, like that, you know what I mean? Because otherwise it won't fit. So that's all good. And the other one actually is better, even better. I saw someone else do it. Leave the brush in. There we go. We've got a nice clump there and a clean container. Reciprocating saw. Told you I'd use it again. So here is that one. I'm cutting it down, so I've just got the thing in there and I've marked it with some black lines pretty much where I want to cut it. I'm pretty happy with that line down there. Um, I'll, cut, I'll trim it down a little bit. The bottom's under your trimmed a bit as you can see. For the tweeter, we need to have a ring. Now, I uh, tested yeah, those looking things um, and that one is just too small. See, so the way I'm going to push it in is just press a fit. So as you can see, the little clips there just kind of pushes in. I got my rings, so I'm gluing them on with uh, skewers like that. As you can see, they're about the same. Pretty dang close. Okay, I'm not going to force it in, but you get the idea. It sits like that in the door. Yeah, well, it took me some time, but I'm proud of that now. Yep, that's good. I think now, I've got it pretty flat on the back, like. Besides that and that, you know, these soft bits all fold over. So I won't, I won't fight the. I mean, I won't resin those anyway. I might even cut them off once it's resined. But otherwise, that's the shape I wanted. This sits there like that. I'm happy with that. So I think it's time to resin them. That's one painted. As you can see, the other one compared. Uh, I gotta work quick because that'll set. But you get the idea. I'll put a fair bit on it. Okay. Well, there you go, there's my first fiberglass job ever. Um, now I'm finished with resin at least, and um, fiberglass. Yeah. Okay, so, cool way they like see through at the end of the light. Okay, so they're like done as far as that goes, they've set and everything, and they look pretty good. Oh, I know that looks like a real big bump, it's not that bad, so my body, I'll fix all that up. So, um, cut the holes out. And they're, they're rough cutouts, you know what I mean? Now, I'm going to get the Dremel and fix them. I guess smooth, they're uh, pretty damn good. Um, I mean, you know, if I wanted to be crap, I could just paint them now and fucking throw them in there, but we'll, uh, we'll get to work and make them look better. That's why they call it kitty hair. As you can see, it looks like hair. So it's just little bits of fiberglass in the body. So I've got my hardener there. I'm just going to make a little bit up on this piece of wood and just do a little bit. And uh, they look fucking cool. Now mixed with the hardener, which was red, it looks like that. I made it ugly again, so I just buffed it up, oh, I mean, um, chopped it up a bit there, and a few bits where I thought I needed it. Otherwise I just went over and did a thin layer, just for a bit of strength. And I mean, I'm going to sand most of it back off anyway. That's how the kitty hair looked when it dried. Okay, and yeah, that one is sanded as you can see. Well, there's a few lumps in it still, but this is just the kitty hair, I'm going to go over that with um, body filler, but that's sanded down, and that's a rough one. So, pink gloves on. 
They're just throwaway ones. Um, so I've iced my cakes, as you can see, which is literally just like what it's like, and it's kind of like a thick icing. Uh, as you can see, where it's a bit darker there, I put too much um, hardener in. It went hard within like two minutes. It's only got a bit done, so I had to remake it with a bit less hardener. And I finished the two of them, and um, they're setting pretty good. It takes about 10, 15, I think. You know, besides being an excellent bench, it actually makes a uh, pretty good drift car. So, anyway, uh, that's how they look now. That one's dry. So, from that to that. With some decent sanding, eh? So, it's really getting there. Um, there's a few little bits um, just there. You can see one little hollow bit there. There we go. So there we have them both sanded to near perfection, I guess. Um, you know, you could paint them like that, but they're going to have little divots everywhere. Uh, and I mean, they're pretty damn close as far as even goes. Um, so I'm pretty happy with them, but I mean, uh, now I'm just going to make up a real small amount of body filler and uh, just fill in all the little small holes. Light coat of uh, body filler again, so that'll be about it. I'm using um, 3M. Lightweight body filler. And there's a few little bits that look rough, like there, but that's not. It's smooth as. It's just different layers, of different colours and stuff, but they are finished. As you can see, how the tweeter looks when they're in it. And when it's in it, in there. Okay, so it's time to paint. So I've just put the primer on. You can see it's still shiny, but it'll dry pretty quick out here in the sun. Um, there's only a few little imperfections I can see, just there on the bottom. I can see him back just after this first coat. Yeah, that was the one coat I've taken it in, sanded it down in a few little areas where it needed it. Whatever. I'll let that dry. Then I'll wet sand it. I might even do three coats of primer. I've wet sanded them back to, well, that so they're not glossy anymore. Um, for some reason, the primer dried glossy, even though it's a great primer, so whatever. So now I'm going to get my black. I used a cheap primer, but um, for the black, I'm going with a satin black and, you know, kind of a mid-range expensive paint. That look awesome. And then it'll dry a little bit less glossy, but hey, like that's if it was glossy, it'd probably look like that. Better to dry satin, which is how I wanted. And uh, I think they look pretty good. So uh, that's just one coat. Two coats of black. And I think that'll be enough. And then it'll just be clear over that. The clear on. Okay, and they look all glossy again, but um, shiny, they'll, they'll dry a bit, matter. We have the finished product. How good does it look? I mean, come on, first time ever fiberglassing. It looks really bloody good. Okay, as I said, like there's, um, I think one of them had a piece of fucking hair. I think it's this one. See that little, that bump? piece of hair bloody went in the paint so when it was drying it was dried in there so that, that with the clear they actually dried probably a little bit glossier than I hoped for but I mean they're not too bad they could have been a little worse and um, there you go with a tweeter in it as you can see how cool it's gonna look now in the car it sits kinda like that okay uh, I'm, as I said I'm not gonna put them in the car now because there's no point shoving them in there because I'm gonna have to pull them straight back out I still wanna let them dry overnight you know what I mean the, the paint's dry on paper but it's still probably a little bit tacky or whatever, you know what I mean. But um, that's the finished product of them. And I think they look really good. And so there'll be more fiberglass in the come. And um, so stay tuned. But that's just what I can do first time around self-taught as well.